People that don't play chess ask a lot of reasonable questions about the game. A very common one being, couldn't someone just memorize all the possibilities? Well, let's answer that question a few different ways. The first being the number of legal chess positions. There are 10 to the 40th power legal chess positions. That means a 10 followed by 39 zeros. Remember, this is just a small number. The bigger number is how many possible games can be played. So, how many are there? First, we'll check by move and ply. One move means both white and black have taken their turn. One move is two ply or two half moves. The start of a chess game has 16 pawn moves, four knight moves for white, and the same for black. 20 moves each gives us 400 total continuations. Move two has 197,281 possible continuations. By move three, we have 119,060,324 continuations. And with move four, we're already at 288 billion continuations. Believe it or not, we haven't even scratched the surface. To get to the total number of possible games, we have to check out mathematician Claude Shannon, also known as the father of information theory. He gave the calculation 10 to the 120th power, now known as the Shannon number. This is based on the assumption that a player has three candidate moves each turn, and an average game will last about 40 moves. Sounds about right. His formula gives us the lower bound calculation of reasonable games. If you added the nonsense games, the number would dwarf the lower bound calculation. This is without taking into account that a game can last 11,800 moves because of the 50 move rule, which requires a pawn move or piece capture every 50 moves. How long would it take to see all the sensible games? Well, if we had a hallway filled with 24 inch displays showing every 40 move game, the hallway would span 3.7 to the 116th power in miles. That's kind of big, let's convert it to something a little more reasonable. The hallway would span 3.2 to the 72nd power in megaparsecs. Well, what's a megaparsec? Let's start with something small like light years. A light year is the distance covered at the speed of light in a vacuum for one Earth year. So a light year is about 6 trillion miles. A parsec is 3.26 light years, or roughly 19 trillion miles. And finally, a megaparsec is 1 million parsecs, or roughly 19 quintillion miles. So our hallway of possible chess games would span 3.2 to the 72nd power multiplied by 19 quintillion miles. Let's say we're traveling at the speed of light. It's around 670 million miles per hour. It would take us 6.4 to the 73rd nonillion years to see all the game possibilities. If you're wondering, a nonillion is one followed by 30 zeros. Our observable universe is 89,000 megaparsecs in circumference. The universe encompasses 200 trillion galaxies. Sounds kind of big, but our universe is still way, 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 way too small for chess. Our hallway of possible chess games could circle the universe 1.18 to the 68th power times. So remember, chess is bigger than you and I. It's bigger than Magnus. It's bigger than Alpha Zero. It's bigger than the universe.